By now, you've probably heard reports that federal authorities are investigating Democratic Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe with an apparent focus, at least in part, on whether donations to his gubernatorial campaign violated the law. They are also reportedly looking at his time as a board member of the Clinton Foundation. Today, McAuliffe told reporters he was, quote, shocked by news of the investigation and that it, quote, has nothing to do with the Clinton Foundation. McAuliffe is, as many of you know, a longtime ally and, fundra ally and fundraiser of the Clintons in, like, a really, really big way. For those who are not aware of his reputation as the most aggressive buck raker of the modern era, here's how McAuliffe described his own modus operandi in a speech back in 1988. God bless C-SPIN for this. What makes me different in collecting the checks than probably any other candidates, I'm probably a little bit farther over on the, on the spectrum on fundraisers than most of the different fundraisers that are out there because I will stop at nothing to try and get a check from you. If someone says no to me, I'd say, well, I'd like you to go out and raise $10,000. That's just, to me, the opening gambit of what will, could be two or three week process. I love it when people say to me, Terry, I'm not gonna give you a check. I hate you, I hate your candidate. Get out of my office. To me, that's just the beginning. But I just settle in, ask for the Diet Coke, and we just begin to do the negotiations. So, Mark, uh, there's a presumption of innocence. Uh, we don't know all the details here. It's all kind of murky right now, but we know something's going on. My question for you, on the basis of what we do know, is what is the worst case scenario for Hillary Clinton in this investigation? Can't say enough. I've read the stories about this, I've talked to some folks in uh, the party. I don't know what this is about. It certainly has some buzzwords that are bad. Clinton Foundation, Chinese money, right. commingling, tax returns, et cetera. Right. I will say Terry McAuliffe has played politics, as that clip suggested, and fundraising fast and hard, as fast and hard as anybody in the country. He's got a lot of lawyers. I'd be surprised if he broke the law. If, however, this investigation continues, if the other investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails continues, it is just bad news for her because it takes the symbolism front and center. And also, we got an ally who's the governor of Virginia, a state she is counting on winning to be right. elected president. Right. Look, you've got um, Terry McAuliffe is like, that, that video doesn't even do justice to it. This is a guy, if all you kids at home, you can go look out on the internet and find pictures of Terry McAuliffe wrestling an alligator to raise money for Jimmy Ca Carter back in 1980. It's an incredible picture. Um, he pushes everything to the limits. I don't know if he broke the law, I have no idea, but I'll tell you that the second point that you made is really important. He's a huge ally for her and one of the most important swing states in the country. If he's distracted for the next six months, that's bad for her. And on top of that, he's being sued right now over this move that he is uh, instituted to try to let felons vote in Virginia, which people see as a political thing. It, this is all going to get entangled. It could be a real mess for Hillary Clinton Let me make one more point. Republicans who think the, the Obama Justice Department is totally politicized, this is an investigation by Democrat on Democrat yep. action, and that is something that don't see in a lot of other countries. Right. In an election year, top ally of the party nominee being investigated, whether it goes anywhere or not, is quite something. By the members of the same party, right.